New at 6 tonight, a show of support for embattled D.C. Fire Chief Kenneth Ellerby. Now, as ABC 7 has been reporting for months, the department has endured a series of problems, including troubles getting ambulances to patients, and there have been calls for Ellerby to resign. But just hours ago, Ellerby's supporters say that he is the victim of politics and has not been treated fairly. Ross Plater, live tonight to explain. Ross. Leon, his supporters acknowledge there are problems within the fire department, but they say many of them he inherited. And even though he's been on the job for two and a half years now, they're asking the city council to, quote, stand down and support him as he makes changes. All of us need to stand behind the chief. Supporters of embattled D.C. Fire Chief Kenneth Ellerby held a rally at City Hall designed to send the council a message. To the extent that there are changes and they have concerns about what he's doing, let's do it in a respectful way. Let's, let's, do, you know, let's stop calling for his resignation. Last week, Councilmember Mary Che called for Ellerby to resign, citing a scathing 29-page report showing a fire department in disarray, a report issued by the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee Chairman Tommy Wells. Even though they said they hadn't read the report, Ellerby supporters dismissed it, saying Wells is running for mayor. Any Judiciary Committee chairperson can go and pull off the shelf any issue with the fire department and all they need to do is change the date. The same issues still exist that existed 30 years ago. And supporters question why the council didn't call for the resignation of the previous fire chief, Dennis Rubin. When a fire engine was sold, no one called for the resignation of Mr. Rubin. When they were having prostitution rings in the fire station at 13th Street, no one called for the resignation of Mr. Rubin. When asked if supporters believe Ellerby is being treated differently because of his race. You need to ask them. You need to ask them. Why are they going after him? Now, we reached out to council members of Che and Wells for a response to all this. Councilmember Wells says he has not asked for the chief's resignation. He supports him, wants to see him succeed, but he has to fix the problems in the fire department. Councilmember Che said she did not want to respond at this time. In the meantime, organizers say this is just their first round of support for the chief. Stay tuned. For now, we're live in Northwest D.C. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.